let's just go ahead and follow our basic strategy. Our basic strategy being first read the question, then the information, make a plan. So reading the question, everybody, what are we looking for in a short phrase? Use a blank or a variable in there, but go ahead and tell me what it is that we're looking for here in this problem. Give me a short phrase here. Make it make sense. Don't be lazy. Let's see what we got. So I see here some people saying, hey, uh, total, the amount he should be paid, pay rate, rate of the same pay, pay rate, uh, pay rate. So not there we go. Akila, you said it the best. That is the best short version I've gotten so far. So what Akila said was payment for 30 hours right there. So right here. So again, the question sentence is how much should he be paid for working 30 hours at the same pay rate? But I think it's very clear that we're looking for how much should we be paid for working 30 hours? So bam, I'm going to say blank dollars for 30 hours. And again, same pay rate. So basically whatever pay rate we might see in the problem is the same rate of pay. But before we continue, yes or no, everybody, is it fair to you that it says how much do we get paid for 30 hours? So we're looking for a dollar amount money, especially since the answer choices have money signs here and there, right? We're looking for the amount of money we should earn for 30 hours of pay. Is that fair? Okay, so that didn't quite reveal that this is a proportion problem yet. Not yet, but it still gives us some direction. What are we looking for? The amount that we should get paid, so money for 30 hours. At the very least, we should feel confident that we know what we're looking for now. We're just looking for whatever amount of money 30 hours translates to. My ASVAB party people, it's Black Friday. People are shopping and saving on things that they don't need, but you're studying for the ASVAB. That means you can be part of a Black Friday sale that'll set you up for the rest of your life instead of throwing your money away. Passing the ASVAB and getting that job or promotion that you want and securing your career in the military became ridiculously easier with our once in a year Black Friday sale. So instead of wasting your money on material things, take advantage of a sale that'll set you up for your future. Sign up and get your ASVAB all access program at a deal you won't see again so you can raise your score and get the job you want. Click here for the details and let's ace the ASVAB. Now let's go ahead and start writing the information down because this is where in step two, when you write your information down, this is where the cookie crumbles. This is where things actually start becoming fun when you've had the practice and the training. So here, highlight this. Kendall is paid $42 for eight hours of work. So right there, we can write $42 for eight hours. All right, everybody. So for those of us that said that this is a proportion, can you give me a short phrase or the main idea of proportions that reveals that this is a proportion problem? I'll wait. It's going to take a couple seconds to type out. I know. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Right? Thank you, Carrie Ann. Comparing the same things in the same way. This is a classic proportion problem. Let's write that down here. This is a classic proportion problem right here. Comparing the same things in the same way. Right there. Comparing the same things in the same way way. We just convert that to text right there. Booyah. That's what this is. This is a proportion, my party people. This is a proportion. Comparing the same things in the same way. What am I saying by that? Well, look, we're looking for the answer that compares money to the amount of hours you worked. And earlier in the problem, they tell you another amount of money for a different number of hours. But notice that you're comparing the same things in the same way. A dollar amount tied to hours. A dollar amount tied to time or hours in this case again. Yes or no, everybody, do we see that comparison happening? Money and time. Money and time. And we just have one blank to fill in. 
Let me know. Do you see that? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So even if you don't see it, don't worry. Because even if you didn't see it, you can still get this problem right. You can still absolutely get this problem right. But I'm going to show you how much easier it is to get it done if you know proportions. So let me first show you a really, really, really annoying way to do this. Then I'll show you how to easily get it done with proportions. So here we go. Question, everybody. Uh, if I go ahead and go over here, I'm trying to get to 30 hours, right? I'm trying to get to 30 hours equals blank dollars. So that's what I'm trying to get to. So let me go ahead and start off up here. And I'm going to start off with, okay, everybody, eight hours. What did they say eight hours translates to? What did they say? Eight hours translates to what, everybody? $42. Okay, cool. Let's write that down. So let's write that down. Cool. So the hope is, hey, uh, can we just do some, some, some math here and just kind of add the hours up and add the money up? Here's what I mean. Here's, here's an example, everybody. Um, if eight hours is $42, well, if I were to double that to 16 hours, so if I were to add eight more hours, well, I'm supposed to add another $42. I hope that that is uh, acceptable to you. So if I add another eight hours, I add another $42. And so that would be what? 80, what? How many dollars is that? $84. That's correct. Okay, cool. Again, we're, we're doing this a very, very frustrating way. We're doing this a very slow way. But nonetheless, if we add another eight hours, if we go to 24 hours, notice I'm just adding the same thing, stacking another eight, stacking another eight. So on this side, stack another 42, stack another 42. Everybody at 24 hours of work, how much should we expect to get paid? $126, right? Can you please work? Thank you. So that'll be $126. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm almost at 30. Uh, crap. If I'm looking at this, well, uh, if I add another eight hours, the problem is that that'll be 32 hours. Everybody, is that the exact number we were looking for? No, we're looking for 30, right? So technically speaking, you could try to get this problem done. You could try to get this problem done by just stacking things up and continuously adding and adding and adding and adding. But you might put yourself in this position where you get 32 hours, translates to whatever the heck 126 plus 42 is, which would be $168. And then you might be looking at the answer choices and you're like, okay, well, great. You know, none of these uh, answers tell me 168, but given these choices, you might be able to say, hey, look, we're working less than 32 hours. So we should get paid less than 168. And you might be able to weasel your way out of this and get D as the answer. You might be able to weasel your way out of it and get that done, right? You might be able to. But here is a direct way to get this done, full stop, give you an easy time. It's by setting up a proportion. And with a proportion, you need to compare the same things in the same way. So allow me to put a variable right over here. So we'll say um, P for how much you get paid for 30 hours. So I'll put P over 30. So money over time equals, and I'll say $42 for eight hours, money over time. My ass bad party people. Hope you're enjoying the math party so far. Just wanted to remind you before we continue that we do have a way for you to practice everything you need to get the ASVAB score that you want. Because in our math boot camp, we have everything you need in terms of recorded lessons to go through the entire concept. On top of that, we have guided practice, principal worksheets, and speed drills for each and every single mini concept. From adding and subtracting decimals, to fractions, distance rate time, word problems, proportions, everything you need. It's all lined up for you and it makes learning as easy as possible and we make updates to this course on a weekly basis at no extra cost to you. So I really urge you and implore you, go ahead, check out the link in the description for the Math Bootcamp, which is also included in our full program and we make it as affordable as possible. So go ahead, click the link in the description to learn about this more. That way you know exactly what's available to you 
to raise your score. I don't want you to feel test anxiety. I don't want you to feel like you're lost and you know, you're just hoping for the best. I want you to take control of your studying and the ASVAB All Access program and the Math Bootcamp are the exact ways to do it. So if you have any questions, my contact info is also in the description. But before we continue, please check it out so you know exactly what's available to you. That way you can feel confident that there is a solution for you. Let's get back to the video though. Let's ace the ASVAB. So check this out, everybody. We have a proportion set up because again, all, of, all we're doing with a proportion is comparing the same things in the same way. Money over time, money over time. That's how you know you have it set up appropriately. And all you have to do now is cross multiply and divide. If you were in class last week, you learned that there were plenty of uh, more satisfying ways to do this by doing some simplification first. But if you want a straightforward answer, we can just go ahead and cross multiply and divide and get this done. P times eight, which would be 8P, and then 30 times 42, which again, we would have to go ahead and do a little bit of math on, but that's okay. Because if you're multiplying by 30, you can just multiply by three and just smack a zero at the end. So if we try to get that done, 42 times 30, or just times three, then we'll put the zero back later. Two times three is six, four times three is 12, and then we'll just put a zero right there at the end. So 1,260. And everybody, what's the last step with proportions? What's the last step here? Correct. It's going to be divide. That's right. And so we'll go ahead and divide both sides by that 8. And so very quickly, you'll know you'll get the exact answer as quickly as you're trying to get to it with calculating. But you can get the fastest answer here by dividing 8 into 1,260. 8 into 12 happens once. And then here it's just math. If you can do your math quickly enough, you'll have a good time. Eight into 46, that's gonna end up being five because it's gonna be 40 and you have six left. Eight into 60, that's gonna end up being seven. You have a decimal there, that's 56. And at this point, you can honestly just stop because if you have $157 and some change, well, your only answer that shows 157 is right there. So you can stop right there if you wanted to or you can continue to get the exact, exact answer because then you have the zero that pops down. Eight goes into 45 times, and that's how you get the 157.50. Now, Dominic, exactly. If you're looking at uh, just like we did in the previous class, yesterday's class, or last week's class, excuse me, um, you could do it faster by simplifying first in that regard, absolutely. If you wanted to do the horizontal or vertical simplification that I taught you last week, heck yeah. That's going to that's gonna shave off at least 20 seconds of calculating, and you have a much, much easier time. Exactly, Krista. So if you did that, you, show, you still should have gotten 157.50 once it was all said and done. Exactly. And so there we are. That's answer choice D, and we'd be all good. So with that said, even for those of us that didn't understand proportions and weren't here last week, are you able to tell that even if you try to do it the way right over here, with all of this mumbo jumbo, you can still get it done, but knowing the actual topic gives you the answer, a confident answer, in a lot less time. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you wanna raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're gonna get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.